Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a site where you can get images to put into your work. We're going to download an image into Inkscape and I'm going to show you how to resize it and place it. So let's look at a site I found fairly recently. It's called morguefile.com. It's a free site full of high resolution images that can be used for either public or corporate use. If we click on the featured image, we're taken to the search facilities. You can search by putting your keyword up here or you can view all files and if we scroll down a bit more you can see you can browse by category. I'm just going to click on this one here, this butterfly. And a beautiful butterfly it is. If I scroll down, what we see here is this bit here is the license. So you're allowed to copy, distribute, transmit the work and to adapt it as well. And no attribution is required. What you can't do obviously is claim that this is your work. Also, we have an information tab here and if I click on it, lots of information but this is the most important bit, pixels. When you're downloading from the web, make sure you get the largest amount of pixels that you can. You can always resize from this size to say 200 pixels by 200 with no loss of quality. However, you can't do it the other way around from 200 by 200 to this because it would become horribly pixelated. If you're not sure about all pixelation and resolution, just contact us and we'll be giving you the contact detail details later on and we'll be able to help you out. The next thing you need to do is download the image to your computer. What we need to do now is to bring in a photo and we go up to file and it's import and go to wherever you have put the folder, the file, the, the picture. I suggest you create a folder on your desktop when you're starting out as it makes life a little bit easier and that's the one I want and open. You can either embed or link. If you link it floats about so I would suggest embed it and it's there then. Click OK and there is the image. But obviously it's too big and so what we need to do is select it and we would click on there and you can see that it's been selected by the handles and to keep it in proportion hold the shift key and the control key and just drag on the corner handles and you can place it wherever you want to. There, I mean, in, in my business card I put it there, but wherever you want. So we've brought a, an image in and we have resized it and placed it. I think at this stage we ought to save the work. And what I would suggest is, first of all, you save it as an SVG file. So we go up to File and we come either to save or save as. I know Caroline has shown you how to save but I always click save as just to ensure I don't copy over an existing file and what I mean is I'm actually got one here called BU card and I want a new file. I go up to where it says name and I'm going to put in bizcard2. It's already defaulted to .svg but if you wanted to into something else there's the list there but I strongly advise SVG as your first save because then you're able to go back and work on the image. Um, make sure it's in the folder that you want it to be which it is in mine and then you click save. 
I will be doing a save for Mac video so don't worry at this stage much about saving. We'll finish there now and in the next video I'll show you how to put the text on. But if you have any questions or comments come over to our Facebook page. The address is below or uh, you may want to email us uh, and you can do that at sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com and that address is there. So until the next video I'll say bye bye. Bye bye.